Hi, today I'm going to talk about my new my new nail routine. I'm back on real time. The two videos before the pecking videos were taped last month before I went on a trip. So now I'm back to it like it's March 1st today. So I wanted to do my nail routine. Um, what sparked me doing this was um, last night I went to dinner with a bunch of girlfriends and um, I never ever wear color on my nails until very recently. And so I walked in and I had my nails like this and they couldn't believe it because I always, always have clear or pale, pale, pale pink on horrible, splitting, breaking, chipping nails that just look awful. Um, and they all said, oh, you got gel nails. Well, we all got gel nails too. And I'm like, I didn't get gel nails. And they said, oh, well, it looks like it. So I thought that was quite the compliment. They told me that their gel nails were $30 to get done, but they last three weeks, which I think is really, really good. This manicure that I've just done will probably last me, it's been routinely lasting me seven to 10 days, which I think is awesome. And my entire investment is $30 for many, 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 many manicures. So I'm gonna take you through the routine and tell you what I've done because the difference is phenomenal and I just have to share it with you because if you have horrible nails, this might work for you too. The entire routine I got from Miss Gold Girl, so you may have already seen it. I'm not gonna do detail. She does a lot of detail on this, so I'm gonna link her video below so that you can see more detail if you want, okay? But I just wanna share it as well because it's just so good. Okay, the day I saw her video, I went right out and got all three products that you need and um, Oh, it's just it's so exciting, and my nails have consistently gotten better. I started doing this the 1st of December, so it's been about three months. Yeah, it's been about three months, and it just gets better and better every time I do a manicure. Now, you have to remember what I started with, which was horror. So, okay. Um, first thing you do is just prep your nails for like you're going to paint them. Just do the whole filing, buffing, the whole thing, cuticles, everything do all that and what I do is I set my little station up at the kitchen table and I have a towel down and I set my iPod in front of me and I watch videos while I do it so it's like killing two birds with one stone right number one thing I do is I put on a layer of nail magic here's the box in case you want to go get it that's what it looks like I got it at Sally Beauty Supply and it was $8.50 the stuff looks like this it, it goes on clear. Now, if you're gonna paint your nails, you would put one coat. If you're not gonna paint your nails, you could put two, and it's clear and it looks great. This is a nail strengthener strengthener and hardener. I looked it up um, on the internet. It's been around, like I don't know, 80 years or something, so I think it's probably a good product. And I think this is the main thing that's been helping my nails to grow long and get strong, okay? Now, I'm not gonna grow my, long, my nails long. This is about as long as I'm gonna keep them, okay. Second thing I bought, and the second step, is the CND Sticky. It looks like this in the box. I got it at Ulta, $8.49. It looks like this inside. It goes on clear, and it's a coat you put on right before you put on your polish, okay? You don't let it dry. It needs to be sticky and it's supposed to help your polish adhere better to your nails, and I'm here to say it's working. Um, okay, so those two things. Third step is your paint your nails with your nail polish or varnish as the UK girls say. Um, paint your nails one to two coats. You know, I use two coats with a dark polish obviously. Um, paint your nails while they're still wet which that's the point I normally would stop, maybe put a base coat on, I mean a top coat on, but I always would smudge them, always smear them, forget about it. I am the most impatient person in the world and I just can't sit there for 20 minutes till they really, really dry. So the last step, the fourth step is, you've all seen this, is the Seche V or Seche V, I don't know how to say it. Um, it's a top coat dryer. Um, I got it also at Ulta for $9.99. Excuse me. Yeah, $9.99. Yeah, sorry. Um, you put this on top of your wet nail polish. You wait maybe two minutes. 
it is so dry. You can tap, you can uh, do dishes, you can do laundry. You just go on about your day. So my whole routine from start to finish takes me about 20 minutes. And then this, this manicure will look this good for probably 10 days. Maybe a little bit of wear on the tips, just a little tiny bit, but not a chip or anything like that. And this has been my experience doing this for three months now with all different nail colors and all different brands. And I don't have a single um, bottle of expensive nail polish. I don't have any OPI or any of those. So I'm using cheap nail polish. Well, the most expensive I have is L'Oreal, which is five to six dollars a bottle. Um, I don't think what I don't think the brand matters that much when you're when you're doing this whole routine. This stuff, the last step, I think bonds everything together onto your nail, and it's it's great. I can't say enough about it. I love it. Um, so I have, I think I might have already said this, but I have about $30 invested in all this total, less than 30, and this is many, many manicures. So that makes me happy, and it doesn't make me feel like I have to jump on the gel nail wagon yet. Um, I used to have acrylic nails like 15 years ago, and I loved them so much. They looked beautiful every day, but I got so totally allergic to whatever they use in that. It would burn. It got to where it was like torture to get my nails done, so I had to quit that. And ever since then, my nails have just been awful. So this is a huge improvement. I totally recommend if you need help with your nails, or if you want to save a little bit of money, do this one-time investment that's going to probably last me at least six months. So uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks. Bye-bye.